Are you keeping busy? It's a busy world that we live in. I, I was just walking back from having taken my van for its MOT and a service at the same time. And I was just strolling back very gently, thinking, oh, what have I got to do today? And then uh, my friend Keith the Roof, he's a roofer, obviously, um, he said, hello, Richard, how are you? And we just stopped for a few minutes and had a natter. And as we were, as we were just talking about life, the universe and everything, and enjoying our company, I noticed there was a lot of build up of traffic. People were desperately getting to work. Kids were off to school. And it occurred to me, life is very busy, isn't it? I mean, I'm very busy. I've just been away doing talking events, which has been fantastic, staying in the van and then rushing back, trying to get emails answered, trying to make more videos, trying to answer text messages, WhatsApp messages, Telegram messages, all those sort of things. And I thought to myself in that moment, talking to Keith, we are busy, aren't we? We keep ourselves busy. But is it really a good state to be in? Always busy? I mean, you always say, how are you? Keeping busy, are you? Oh yes, I'm keeping busy. Nobody really wants to say, no, no, I'm keeping idle. I'm doing nothing. I'm just sitting about, minding my own business. I'm just sitting on this park bench, enjoying the sunrise. I'm just watching the birds. I'm just sitting here listening to nature. Nobody really says that as if that's a bad thing. But actually, I think, thinking about this, and when I used to do the YouTube channel, which was about landscape, heritage and nature, and I would walk off into the woods and over the downs and just sit sometimes and look at the scenery and, and stop filming and just breathe it all in. I just reminded myself, actually, that's what it's about, isn't it? We're on this planet to enjoy our lives, not be rushing around trying to get to work and then at the end of work trying to get home so that we can cook dinners and sort the kids out and rush here, rush that, watch a certain programme on the television, let somebody else have the experiences of life and, and, and just be passive as we watch the screens or play computer games in which you're not really participating in a real world. And it's a bit mad. And I thought to myself, no, from now on, I need to slow things down. I know people will send me emails, loads of emails, and they're unsolicited. And, and I have that burning ambition to try and reply to everybody, even though there are thousands of them. But in the end, I have to come to the conclusion, I just can't do it. I don't want a team of people to act on my behalf. And so if it's unsolicited, uh, people would just have to wait. I think we're all impatient, aren't we? We're all desperate trying to buy now, pay later, get this, have the quick option. And we know that convenience, those things that are around to make life so much easier so that we don't have to go in perhaps a long way round of doing things. You know, I mean, started with a remote control, really, didn't it? Where you didn't actually have to get up and retune the television to another channel. Well, now we have those, those listening devices that um, are there prompting whenever you want uh, a piece of music and you can ask it to play a piece of music or lower the lights or check the contents of your fridge, all those sort of things. And that convenience has made us a, a bit less involved. I read a brilliant book the other week called The Power of Now, which talks about the actually being in the present moment and that importance of recognising this is the only moment that we have. We, we worry about the past and we, we worry about the future and all of that is affecting us. But we, we very much sort of dodge the now. I found myself in the past when cooking going, oh, I'm just doing a few cooking things or a few minor chores. I know I'll put on something to keep me amused. Many people have the television on all day long. They say, yeah, it's background. They, they don't want to hear their own thoughts. They don't really want to be in the present moment, which is very strange because the present moment is incredibly precious and it's all there is. There is only now. So I don't understand why we have become so busy, but I think in a way, particularly with some of the subjects that I've been recently talking about, 
it has been somewhat manipulated. It's to stop us from appreciating the, the actual beauties of living, the, the wonders of nature, the incredible moment that we're in, our spiritual sense. And if we are spiritual beings having a human experience, we seem to be shoving aside the whole experience because we're we're so busy rushing about trying to do this before we can get that done and then there's this and then there's the other instead of just taking a back seat somewhat and going, no, actually, this is what it's about. This moment right now, right this second, that's the most important thing that is happening is this moment right now and just breathing breathing intentionally, breathing and filling our lungs and, and looking about ourselves and just saying, do you know what? I am alive. I'm enjoying this experience. There is joy in my heart at being around at this moment, the only moment there ever is. And what's happened in the past has happened and can't affect me unless I make it affect me. And what's going to happen in the future has yet to happen. It might be fairly imminent, but it has yet to happen. So I'm going to enjoy this moment right now and allow wisdom, experience to in envelop me and enjoy a little bit of life. So I don't know about you. Obviously, I don't know about you, but perhaps you live a very busy life and Perhaps you're missing out on one of the core things that life is about, is about being there now and enjoying it. And with that, we can understand how our body works, we can understand how our health needs to be kept going, and we can enjoy life a little bit more than being distracted and pointing ourselves in all these sort of different directions instead of realizing what is actually important to us, whether that's a hug from a friend, whether that's the sunrise or listening to the birds or just pausing instead of dashing about like headless chickens.